Well, I finally got a chance to see Endgame, the second part of the major event that all these movies have been leading up to over the last 10 years. We've all obviously been waiting for this moment since Thanos was first teased in 2012. It's taken a long time to get to this point, but was the wait worth it? In my opinion, yes. Though I assume many people have seen it by now, I'm going to try it to keep this review spoiler-free as possible. Infinity War was good, I enjoyed it for what it was, but over time it just felt like it got monotonous. Everything just felt drawn out. And I'm going to be honest, the most emotional part of the movie, I didn't feel a thing. Because I knew Infinity War was going to be a cliffhanger into Endgame, so... I didn't let myself get too attached to the characters, which is why the moment most of them turned to dust after the snap, I was just checking my watch waiting for the moment to pass. Plus, with the movies that Marvel had announced for Phase 4, there was really no need to mourn for these characters. We all knew they were coming back, and the trailers confirmed that before they even returned. But now that Endgame finally arrived, I relaxed and just let myself enjoy the movie because even though Marvel has plans to carry on the MCU after this film, for me, the MCU ends here. It was a good run, but Marvel needs to know when to stop. This was a great conclusion to go out on. I honestly can't think of a better way to mark the end of an era. To sum this movie up as best I can, it feels like the curtain call of a Broadway show. Even characters who play parts in other movies make surprise cameos as if taking their final bow and thanking everyone for sharing this decade-long journey with them. I applaud the Rousseau brothers for rising to the challenge of this enormous undertaking. There is no way that a single director could have helmed a movie this massive. In 2014, Joss Whedon famously stated that filming Age of Ultron nearly broke him. So I think it's safe to suspect that directing this movie would have killed him. This universe is just too big now for one person to handle. There's no other way to sum it up. I was completely satisfied with this. You can make the argument that this movie takes its slow time at certain parts. But as far as I can see, the pros of this movie outweigh the con. I felt more emotion in this movie than I ever did in Infinity War. Is it slow at times? Yes, but I can easily overlook that, based on the ending result that we got. I'm going to give Avengers Endgame 4.5 stars. Guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. And stay tuned for a special video coming soon where I will review the MCU. Not every individual movie, but the MCU as a whole and how well it was laid out over the last 10 years. And if you like this, you can click here and subscribe and I'll see you next time.